Hurricane Irene is moving in and people along the East Coast are moving out. The first watches and warnings went up today for what could be the most powerful hurricane to hit the East Coast in seven years. Irene roared across the Bahamas today, a Category 3 with winds of 115 miles an hour. The capital, Nassau, was largely spared, but major damage is reported in other parts of the island chain. At last report, Irene was about 600 miles south of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, moving toward the north-northwest at 14 miles an hour. Hurricane watches and warnings are up from North Carolina to New Jersey, with landfall expected in North Carolina on Saturday. We have a team of correspondents posted throughout the hurricane zone. First, CBS News hurricane consultant David Bernard in Miami. David, what is the latest on the track and the intensity? Well, no change at all today, Scott. This storm is steady state. It is still a major hurricane. And in fact, the latest information from the Hurricane Center indicates it might get a little bit stronger tonight. Now, here is the track. It remains virtually unchanged. We're expecting that landfall in the eastern plains of North Carolina during the day Saturday. And then it's going to continue a march right up the eastern seaboard, possibly near the Jersey Shore or the New York City area during the day on Sunday. That would be a rather dramatic track, and it could cause quite a bit of disruption, to say the least. And your best estimate of what happens in the next 72 hours is what? Well, it's all about the track, and as we could see from the Hurricane Center, their cone has narrowed significantly, and for good reason. There's more confidence tonight on the track that the storm is going to take. This is the steering pattern as we go into Sunday. We have that huge blocking high still over the central Atlantic. That is preventing the storm from going east. Instead, it's creating a pathway to carry the hurricane right up the east coast. Right now, it looks like land interaction is almost a certain bet. David, thank you.